Hello everyone, my name is Mitali Damle and I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Potsdam, Germany, working under Professor Dr. Philip Rishta and Dr. Martin Schwab. My PhD topic concerns with studying the circumcollecting medium around Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy and involves Milky History of Constraint Simulations. Similar work has been carried out previously by Sebastian Noza in this 2014 paper, where they used a constraint simulation from the CLOSE project to track the gas distribution in the local group. I'm sure many of us recall this H1 distribution plot from their paper that has been shown in a couple of talks during the conference already. We take this a step further by now resorting to three high resolution realizations from Hestia's suite of constrained cosmological simulations. What sets Hestia apart from other traditional cosmological simulations is the fact that it also gets the local group large scale structure right by incorporating initial conditions based on cosmographic observations. There has been quite an active discussion about how in some ways Milky Way seems to behave like a typical L-star galaxy, but in many other ways it doesn't. Perhaps accounting for the local group environment and simulations could help shed some light on this issue. For more details on simulations itself, I highly encourage to have a look at the official history of release paper by Lee Biskin et al. that came out just a few months ago. To address our aim of tracking the multiphase CGM and simulated local group, we model a set of five ions using the latest cloudy version 17. These ions are H1, silicon 3, O6, 7, and 8. With that, I will now present some results from our upcoming paper. These are XY-oriented H1 columnar distribution map for each realization centered on local group center. We also have a host of satellites surrounding the Milky Way M31. It is interesting to see that there are quite a few examples of satellites seen here enclosed in yellow circle, showing structurally disturbed CGMs. Next up, we generate Malvida projection maps for our ensemble of ions. Almost 20,000 sight lines, each spanning 700 kiloparsec and binned into 50,000 segments are penetrated through this view of local group. Summing column density contributions for each sight line gives us the projected ion column densities at each point in these maps. Black dashed circles here denote the respective virial radius. It is immediately clear that the cold dense CGM looks rather clumpy and exhibits a strong dependence on impact parameter, while as we transition to the warm, hot, and hot gas phase, we increasingly see smooth and non-impact parameter dependent ion distribution profiles. Worth noting is the presence of diffuse H1 gas between Milky Way and M31 across all our realizations. We also see such diffuse gas to some extent in silicon 3, O6, and O7 maps, which is interesting. The silicon 3 maps look a bit peculiar in the sense that each silicon 3 distribution looks distinctly different. We see a lot of very high column density silicon 3 in 1711, while in 3711, we see more intermediate column density silicon 3. So it might be worthwhile to probe such a heterogeneity in the distribution of cool ionized gas by using silicon 3 as a trace. Finally, we compare our results with Amiga observations as well as with corresponding results from fire and eagle simulations. Our values for the inner region should be interpreted with caution since we do not have sufficient resolution to explicitly model the ISM. Beyond the viral radii, our silicon-3 values seem to drop off faster, unlike AMIGA. However, there are quite a lot of upper limit detections in AMIGA beyond the viral radii, so it's possible that the actual silicon-3 values here are closer to what we find in Hestia. Our O6 values seem to agree quite well with corresponding AMIGA values, in comparison to fire 2 we get slight underproduction of O6 in the 0.5 to 1.5 viral radius region for some reason. However, beyond the 1.5 viral radius mark, our O6 does not drop at all. And this could be because in our Malvida maps, M31 encounters Milky Way in its path at large viral radius. With that, I leave you all with a few key takeaways. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more results in our upcoming paper.